Hi everybody. Okay, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, thanks for all the work that you've been sending me. It's fantastic. Um, I'm testing out this thing with voice feedback and the transcripts sometimes of what I say, they're really weird. So if you see any weird mistakes in the transcript, it's not me. <laughs> It's interpreting my voice really strangely. So apologies if there's any strange stuff in there. Um, so uh, let's talk about what we're going to be doing this week. So this is we're a month in to doing some work on narrative writing, which is crazy. So week four, we're going to be looking at story structure. To do this lesson, you're going to need a uh, a pen and some paper would help as well or if you want to type up your notes onto a google doc that's fine okay so let's get started so today what we're going to be looking at is how we're going to well basically we're going to explore the typical structure of a narrative we're going to use some examples of story structure um, from movies um, that might be quite helpful to get us thinking about it and then finally, you're going to be planning out your own story based on one of four narrative titles that I'm going to give you. Now, I know some of you have already started planning your story and have got a story idea. That's fine. You can use that or you can come up with another. It's entirely up to you. OK, so. So first of all, let's have a look at the typical story structure. Now, this is a story structure that we use um, at Key Stage 3, but also all the way up to GCSE as well. And it's the type of story structure that will be familiar to you from countless books and films. So we sometimes call this story mountain because it's in the shape of a mountain. And in the middle, we've got the climax of the story. So at the beginning, you've got exposition. Exposition is where everything's normal. So you, normally you would introduce your hero, the setting. We then get rise in action. That's when something starts to go wrong and the hero has to start to, to react to whatever um, the situation is. Um, in between that, you've often got an inciting incident, which is the bit of the, the book or the movie where someone is sort of prompted to act. Um, you've got the climax, that's the bit that obviously that everything is building up to. It's often a battle in a movie, isn't it? Um, you've got falling action, which is where when loose ends are tied up. And you've got the denouement, which means that's the sort of, I'd say it's like, it's like the climb down of the movie, the book where things sort of have adapted and changed in this, this idea of this um, new world or a new situation. OK, so you can probably think of a few books or movies that follow that sort of structure. OK, now one example that I wanted to look at with you is quite a familiar one. So I hope you've all seen a Star Wars movie. If you haven't, maybe that's something you should be doing during this lockdown, guys. Um, so if you think about, for example, the first Star Wars film. Star Wars A New Hope, so it's that one on the left hand side. Um, we've got our protagonist, our hero, Luke Skywalker, um, who's hiding from the Empire. The Empire find and kill his family. Then he realises, um, well this is the trilogy actually isn't it, he realises that he's got to stand up to the Empire and then he's sort of forced into a situation where he's got this showdown, this huge confrontation with Darth Vader. Um, Skywalker triumphs, the Empire um, falls, essentially, and it's a journey. So a hero's journey starts from someone who um, comes from a sort of lowly kind of um, background and has to, they have to stand up, essentially. They have to change and adapt, and they change by the end of it. So essentially, Luke Skywalker is a different person by the end of the, the trilogy, okay? Now, some other examples, you definitely will have seen some of these examples before. Um, we've got Harry Potter, Star Wars, Matrix, The Matrix. That's not one you might have seen, but if you haven't seen The Matrix, definitely do watch it. Um, Spider-Man, um, any of the Spider-Mans really, but particularly the one from 2002. If you haven't seen that one, watch that one. Really good one, best one. Uh, Lion King and Lord of the Rings. So if you look at all of the different 
narrative starting points for these films. My cat's come to say hello to you. Can you say hello to year eight, Penny? Meow. Okay, she doesn't want to say hello. She's grumpy. So if you say, um, if you look at the different places that all of the characters start, I want you to pause the video and just give that a quick read, please. So think about all the different places that the characters start, this bit at the top. So just pause and read it. Okay, so these characters are what's part of, um, they're part of the ordinary world. So, you know, you've got um, Luke Skywalker living his normal life, Harry Potter in his cupboard on Privet Drive. And then there's a moment in the movie called The Call to Adventure. And this is where they've got to make this decision and where their whole lives change. They've got this like moment of... Um, conflict so the bits that you see here you've got in lord of the rings um frodo discovers he's got to um destroy the ring um the bit where scar kills mufasa and tells simba to leave the pride lands they're these little hinge moments that change everything for the characters so like spider-man when he's bitten by the spider um harry when he gets the letter um telling him that he's got to go to Hogwarts. So when you're planning your story, try and think of these um, sort of the, the call to adventure moments where your character has this moment where they, they set off on this journey or they, they know that they've got to change, okay? And that, that's often a really good bit of the story. So just pause the video here and just have another look at this graphic, please, and just make sure you understand it. Okay, so first activity, and this can be handwritten or you can type it up as part of your Google Doc. I want you to think of a book or a movie plot where a character changes, goes on a journey, or has to confront something or someone. You can list your ideas up to five. You can't use any of these ones, okay? So they're the obvious ones, and we're all thinking Harry Potter, but try and think of some different ones. Okay, um, activity two, after that, I'd like you to think of a title for your story. Okay, so you've got four titles there. Then mind map your ideas and choose one. So if you wanna pause the video here and um, plan out, you do, not plan, just sort of brainstorm a few ideas for your story title. Okay, now your final task, this is what the main thing that I want you to submit this week, is to plan your narrative. Now, some of you have already got a little bit of a plan based on the picture last week. If you want to use that, you can. If you're happy with it, you think it's a go, you think, you know, this can do something with this. If you don't want to use it, then you can plan out a new idea. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be looking for in your work. First of all, I want to see that it's detailed. Some of the story plans that you submitted last week were a bit thin. So can you make sure that they're detailed? Sensible ideas. I'm, you know who I'm talking to. Some of you who sent me those funny ideas last week. Can you try and make your story realistic, please? It can be a genre story. So I don't mind, you know, aliens and dystopia and all that sort of stuff horror whatever you want to do but just nothing silly like really silly stuff okay so be careful um and you're going to get i'm going to give you some voice feedback on your plan okay so i need to see top effort from everyone no sloppy stuff all right set at home okay so that's what I'd like you to submit for this week. And that is, that's everything, guys. So if you can type up that um, narrative plan on a Google Doc, or if you wanted to, you could do a handwritten version of it a little bit like this. And it's got to be one of these story titles, okay? So choose one of those and plan it out and submit that. As usual, any questions, let me know. Okay, bye, everybody.